graphical user interface and graphical user interface is very important uh, for any software because the software engineers are very technical people and they are not uh, much familiar about the importance of graphical user interface for the non-technical uh, people who are actually the client of the software uh, are very uh, you can say sensitive about graphical user interface and they usually uh, prefer a software which has easy to use uh, uh, an interface the importance of the uh, interface can be understood by this example uh, like this is a home a very beautiful ha a house it may be but if it doesn't have any interface if if it doesn't have any doors to enter it is of no use so in the same way if if a software doesn't have a proper uh, a graphical user interface to interact with it uh, it is useless so uh, you can see interface everywhere around you like uh, in a home uh, um, you can say a gas pipe from kitchen to living room provides an interface between connectors similarly wherever you connect two objects two modules with each other you always see an interface like if you uh, want to charge your mobile phone uh, your charger has an interface which is uh, suitable or according to the interface of the switchboard so you see interface everywhere and the most important golden rule for interfaces uh, for any interface and particularly for a graphical interface are these uh, rules uh, we you should uh, place a user in control user should feel freedom uh, to, do, to do anything with the uh, graphical uh, screens graphical user interface uh, user should be able to move forward and back backward freely and user should not feel a burden on uh, his or her memory because we humans do not want to memorize things so we should uh, reduce uh, load on the memory and the third thing is uh, again that is uh, very uh, you can say uh, similar to memory we we want a consistent interface consist because if the interface is not consistent we have to learn the interface on every new page on every new screen so if the interface is consistent on each, on each screen we have to memorize less things so these are three golden rules and there are few trends which are being followed in the uh, graphical user interface these days and these are the first is minimalism we sh should um, minimize uh, the controls on the uh, given screens if the screen has minimum possible uh, user controls uh, graphical controls uh, it is better because uh, user doesn't get confused and we only show the most relevant uh, fields to the users uh, the next is skeuomorphism it is also psychologically very important uh, concept because we humans prefer those software which are very similar to real life objects for instance this calculator is more uh, you can say uh, will have more likes as compared to this window, calcul window calculator because this window calculator is a uh, uh, you know so very simple and it doesn't have 3d look but this in, uh, calculator has 3d look and it is very similar to the real life uh, calculator uh, physical calculator similarly at uh, this interface of a music player is similar to the physical uh, music player so again it is preferable for a customer because customer doesn't uh, have to learn anything he will use it just like the real life uh, music player and the third is laser focus uh, uh, we uh, put the cursor uh, at in in that field which is uh, you, you know from where we want to start the navigation of the software for example when you open the google.com website you, you observe that uh, in the start uh, you see the blinking of cursor in this text field because we want that the customer should enter some search query in this text field so we put the focus here so the laser focus means we uh, start from that field uh, we put the cursor in that field where from where we want to start the navigation of the of our software and the next is context sensitive navigation it's actually about the consistency the interface of the website should be consistent in all screens only the main core content should change like if you are using Facebook you will observe that if you are uh, navigating or browsing the pictures 
only the actual core picture will be changed all the others like dislike and other buttons and comments button will be exactly same so it is again uh, benefit uh, it has the benefit for the customer because it has less load on the memory uh, and uh, user has a consistent uh, interface and next is collapsed content uh, as i uh, said earlier we go for minimum possible controls on the on the screen but if you do have uh, other uh, options and you want to provide those option to the customer you can use collapsed uh, uh, drop down menus which will be displayed only wh while someone clicks on the uh, arrow sign so the collapsed content is also a, a very uh, a better way to uh, provide all the possible option on the screen but showing the most important and the minimum possible controls to the users and the next is the content checking uh, it's also designed according to the human psychology we get bored why if we are uh, reading a very long article so keeping in view uh, that human nature we split the content into small pieces and and place them under headings so the content checking technique is also a very good technique to keep the customer engaged with our website and uh, finally uh, long pages are it's also very uh, uh, you can say useful technique to uh, keep the user engaged at your website and uh, because we human uh, want to scroll the page till the end like if you are reading a newspaper you will scroll till the end to uh, see all the major headlines similarly if you are using a software you will uh, have tendency to scroll down so infinite scroll on the pages uh, also increases the user engagement time so these are uh, some uh, rules and trends of graphical user interface